this what you making? I feel like a man's I can't see a way out. I've been stacking face down off canvases, I painted. I just spent the rain day on drip, I can't afford, but that's the price I pay for the memories I'm making. I've been going places, I've been shaking hands for a chance to really make it. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Choco Back to another video. Oh my god, I almost flicked the camera. We are finally here at Copart. This is the San Jose sublot location. Got a bunch of cars over here. Uh, we're, oh, I'm with my boy a lot for it. <laughs> uh, we're just waiting at this point for the Supra to be delivered. I want them to deliver it right in front of the trailer and then uh, hopefully we can take off the bumper before actually loading it on. Guys, <laughs> he just gave up to me. They're already gonna go over. They are going over there, dude. He saw a yellow car right over there somewhere. He's actually heading over there to get him right now. Bro, I'm so nervous, dude. <laughs> this is the most money I've ever spent on a car. Whew. All right, he is cool. I did tell him if he can like load it up right there, like off the trailer first. We can take off the front bumper. Um, this, I know if they actually land the car right on this trailer, it's gonna get destroyed right here. So if you guys end up getting a U-Haul, um, make sure to actually take off the front bumper so we're putting it on the car. That's actually how I messed up my fender on my E92 M3. It cost me $500. So again, you live and you learn, guys. I think you are right, bro. It's back there. Right when we pulled up. Imagine he just goes right through the windows, bro. <laughs> Guys, I'm just here in my garage, you know, full of my thousands of total vehicles. Um, you know, if you guys want to be like me and afford a GMC like this bad boy right here, make sure to check out my course down below. <laughs> that shit's clapped. Oh my god, bro, I'm so stressed. Guys, I've been doing research all night. Honestly, I decided just to sleep because you don't really know what's going to happen until you actually get it. Um, it was a calculated risk, but it's also risky. This is probably going to be one of the sickest builds ever. If you guys like the 435, I want to do the exact same goals with this car as I did with the 435. I have such big goals for this thing, and since it's yellow and bright, it's going to look so, so, so sick. Um, but yeah, guys, um, that's the wrong car. I guess uh, they're bringing out the other one a little bit. Ah, I'm just so stressed. Guys, he picked it up, bro. Bro, you're right, dude. Right there, huh? Oh, oh bro, that shit. Bro, that thing's clapped. It's clapped, bro. Why am I trying to scare myself, dude? Are you scaring me? You're gonna give me a little aneurysm. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm gonna just pass up. Oh, man. Bro, it looks so gorgeous, dude. It looks like straight out of Fast and Furious, bro. I've never even sat on one. Me neither, dude. I never, bro, I haven't even driven it. I'm like over here just dumping all my money on it. <laughs> I forgot they existed for a little bit. <laughs> Bro, I just think for the B58, I think it's a super sick chassis to have it on, you know? I think it looks super good. Oh my god, dude. Bro, facts. We gotta check underneath the car now. Oh my god, dude. That thing is stunning. Oh my god. Guys, it actually looks really good on the bottom. I don't, bro, I don't see anything. So far, so good. Oh, buddy. <laughs> Guys. Oh, that actually looks way worse in person, bro. This looks so... This is the reason it totaled out, bro. That's crazy damage. Oh, buddy. Hey. Okay, that actually makes sense, bro. That whole side is pushed in there, um, which actually makes now complete sense why this totaled out, which is making me feel a little bit more comfortable now with the mechanical aspect of it. No damage to the rear so far. Bro, this thing's crazy. Is, that, is it the stock pipes? I don't know if that's stock, but that looks really good. I know it's a stock diffuser. Okay, stock pipes. It's got PDC sensors, backup camera, um, brake, uh, third brake light right there. These side skirt extensions, guys, actually come stock on the Supra. Wow, just wow. This has keyless entry as well. That just looks crazy. Toyota Supra, the BMW Chime, bro. <laughs> Guys, this is the key as well. Looks like a G80 key, which is super nice. Actually, this looks beautiful. This looks better than a G80 key, bro. Without the I wish the title the, the title was a BMW, but <laughs> looks so good. Carbon interior. Oh, carbon trim. Yes, these are heated seats as well. Look at the buns and everything, guys. It's literally a BMW. Let's go ahead and pop the hood. Make sure there's nothing going on right there. Yes, sir. Oh, bro, this looks like bro. This was at the dealership, dude. Look how clean that is. It looks like the shine stuff that you put on your cars, bro. It's a vehicle equipped with AFE washable and reusable filter. So it has a mod. Okay. So a over here, bro, there's no oil. There's literally nothing that shows from the front. The belt is on there. No oil leaks, no coolant leaks. I mean, to be expected with a 5,000 yeah. mile motor car. Door panel looks good, yeah. So that's reusable. That is money right. Oh, bro, it has an upgraded sound system, UBL. <laughs> JBL. JB. Oh, that's the shit that you like, right? Yeah, but uh, you know, BMW does Harman Kardon. Yeah. And Wolfs and Banks or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. Toyota likes to do JBL. So is that like the premium size system? Premium size system. Bro, bro, dude. Carbon trim, guys. Bro, what did we do, dude? I don't know. I mean, the sofa looks good, though, right? You could get in and drive it home, to it, be honest. Le legitimately. I mean, the door won't close, but. Oh, that's latched enough. No? Slam. Oh, 
there we go. There we go, bro. You wanna drive this thing home? Bro, let's just return the trailer. So this is the thing that deploys an accident, right? Yeah. This looks true. brand spanking new, bro. Look at, is this a Toyota or <laughs> it's a BMW, bro. BMW. Guys, so for those of you guys who don't know, this is basically a BMW, like literally frame, bone, engine, everything, computers. Everything here is a BMW. It's just they partnered with Toyota um, to do basically the Supra name. So to be a Supra, they partnered with Toyota. Everything else literally to the bone is BMW. All the technology, it's just insane. And I think it looks so, so, so good, so girthy. Oh my God, I love the color so much, guys. This is crazy. Moment of truth, actually. You guys, we're gonna start it because I don't think we can survive the whole drive without knowing if it starts because there's mechanical damage, obviously. Moment of truth. Actually, the steering wheel, bro, is crooked. You notice that? Well, this is, well this, the wheels are turned. Try oh, straighten they? it out. Woo! That is mint. Oh, that sounds so good, dude. So we do have ABS light, guys. ABS light, traction control light, TPMS light, airbag light, check engine light. So I don't know why we have a check engine light, guys, but everything con driving possible brake system. Oh, so brake system malfunction. I'm now less worried that there's anything wrong with the motor, which is a huge good thing. Bro. Bro, let's stick this down the freeway. It, it has to be like some sort of sensor in like the diff or something that screwed up in the accident. Bro. Bro, that feels, bro, this thing's ready to rip. You ready, should you just rip it right here? <laughs> Imagine you wreck it again. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, because we didn't leave the lot, we can still no. return it, bro. Bro, I'm not Dude, returning this thing. That sounds perfect. I, I work on these B58s every day. Like, that doesn't sound any Guys, different than a brand new car. I genuinely think that's why the price went so high. And that's why it makes sense. Mechanical is secondary. Rear differential locked or some stuff. That is the mechanical damage. Bros! <laughs> scream right now, bro. If anyone see me right now, bro, they're like, you're crazy, dude. But guys, we just scored a Toyota Supra, hopefully with the, probably about five grand in repairs, this thing should be on the road. I mean, we could drive it right now, bro. You like, could, honestly, you, you literally drive? could. Huh? Wanna drive it? I wanna no, get home, I wanna get home, but you can you can take this home and drive down the street, right? Seriously, like, bro. We can move this around, guys. We can actually work on it. I won't get reported by the county again. Um, <laughs> Oh my god, dude. Guys, alright. For real, for real this time, let's remove that front bumper. I just want to get this thing home. This is insane. Guys, we're just looking at this car. We have brand new Michelin tires, brand new rotors, brand new brake pads. I mean, it's basically brand new, 5,000 miles on it. Oh my God, I just, I cannot believe we drove it on here and we just got this car. So the first thing we noticed with, in terms of mechanical damage, throwing like the differential issue, um, brake issue, e-brake, everything. So in terms of like the rear suspension, something shot back there, maybe just some sensors. So uh, we're gonna have to jack up the car and figure that out. Uh, but <laughs> anywho, right now guys, I'm so happy. Let's just go ahead and get this thing home. I wanna make sure this thing gets home safe and uh, we can just start diving in. Guys, so we just made it home. We got the bumper here. Thankfully, it didn't go absolutely anywhere. Oh, dude, that strap came off. Yeah. <laughs> this strap's still on there, so we're good. We're good. The e brake doesn't actually work on this car right now. It's just the uh, what's it called? Just in park. Just in park. So, I mean, that's good enough. It's not a manual. Uh, but at this point, guys, just get the car off the trailer, get inside the garage, slap on the front bumper, and then, oh, I mean, I just want to see this thing in the garage, bro, with the lighting and everything. Sheesh, I might even give it a detail, honestly.
These headlights go crazy. I did not think today we're actually gonna drive this thing in the garage. What is going on, dude? Oh, this damage. <laughs> Guys, so we finally got the car in the garage. I'm not gonna lie, I did not think we were gonna be able to drive this thing in the garage. It runs and drives so amazingly. I mean, it's crazy, it's absolutely crazy. I didn't even know it came with this much options. It comes with heads up display, uh, lane assist on the sides, um, a custom sound system, the JBL sound system, carbon fiber trim pieces, uh, heated seats, so it comes with all the nice bells and whistles, and just this color, guys, just looks so, so, so good. I feel like if you get a Supra, you have to go with either the red or the yellow, so two bright colors. It just looks so crazy. Now, obviously, we're missing the front bumper. There's no issues with the front bumper, so I want to slap that back on the car so everything looks absolutely perfect on the front end, especially considering that my wife had to help me a little bit with the car, so I want to surprise her as well. So, <laughs> let's go ahead and get that bumper out of the rear trunk, slap it back on here, so we just have to focus on the side, uh, which is where the primary damage is at. Alright guys, so my boy Orlan left. I actually dropped off the trailer. That's where I was like the last hour. I'm back with the car and I was driving the entire time calling my broker um, that bid that extra $500 that I was worried about. That extra $500 ended up coming in clutch because we ended up getting a Supra. I perfectly running and driving Supra mainly because something happened. I'm not going to lie. Something happened off video. Me and my boy Orlan got in the car. We just wanted to kind of like sit in it, listen to music, stuff like that. And uh, every light was on the dash, right? All we did is roll the car forward and then back into the garage so we can adjust the position of the car all the lights go off on the dashboard i wish it was on camera but basically all the lights were on the car i think when the accident happened basically the car threw a lot of faults out of nowhere um copark considered mechanically damaged because of every fault light on the dash as soon as it rolled forward and back the speed sensors and everything got recognized lint mode turned off all the lights went off we still have a check engine light for some reason. I don't exactly know what that is exactly. And we still have like TPMS and airbag lights, of course, but I just want to put it out there, guys, that sometimes in life, like you, it just, this is a blessing. We got this for $38,000, as you guys know. This is a clean title locally. It's selling for about $57,000 with base options, about $60,000 full auction. It has 5,000 miles of 2021. So for $38,000 and it's $60,000 clean title, I think $4,000 will get this car 100% perfect and on the road. I think we can literally start driving this tomorrow. I will literally just take off this side skirt and we can go on a drive tomorrow. Like literally that's what I feel like. Before we do that, obviously I do wanna get some other things dialed in. I wanna make sure everything is good. I wanna make sure the oil level is good. I wanna run the code, see what the, why that check engine light's there. I don't wanna ruin this car because honestly, I think we really scored on this so heavily. And shout out to Coport of San Jose for being very, very, very detailed um, with their listing. They listed the primary damage is obviously the side, and then the secondary damage as mechanical. They honestly never needed to even list the mechanical damage. The mechanical damage was because all the lights in the dash. They were very picky with that. I mean, they could have, they could have honestly just not even said it and just said side damage. And somebody else would have honestly freaked out with seeing all those lights in the dash. Um, but they were wholeheartedly honest, and people still bit on the car. I think San Jose has a good reputation, and uh, I think that's that's something why they get really high bidders on their cars because they are straight up honest and I really do appreciate that because I don't know if you guys know but it's not Copart or the person that makes the listing on Copart it's Copart they take full responsibility they say if the car runs and drives when they got it I honestly don't understand how it's running and driving with the two airbags deployed that makes no sense to me it is a BMW so usually when the airbags deploy the battery terminal explodes but and just to put it out there guys this is not the 2.0 this is the 3.0 B58 I think after replacing the door the side skirt getting this frame pulled out in two current airbags will be a hundred percent on the road ready for some bolt-ons tune carbon fiber wheels suspension I have why I have so much planned for this thing because guys it's such an amazing car hoping the next video will be showing you guys what kind of options it has what lights it has on the dashboard probably honestly get it out and get a proper cleaning on the car as well I honestly want my wife to see it exactly the way we got it so she can see the transformation with me as well shout out to my girl for loaning me two thousand dollars or three thousand dollars to get this car because I didn't have the money to overbid for this but I just want to say guys a lot of you guys said in the last video that's why I didn't want to respond to y'all just yet I saw some comments saying hey Nor. I think you did an impulsive decision with this car. 
I knew considering how much it is clean title, worst comes to worst, we'll be paying a clean title price. But in this case, best comes to best. Fingers crossed, this day's best comes to best. We're paying below salvage title price. So that is super exciting. So not only are we getting a beautiful car, but we're also getting a good deal. And that you can't you can't beat that. Let me know down below, guys, what you guys think of the Toyota Supra B58. I think I'm thinking about putting a BMW engine cover on this thing because it's basically a BMW. Let me know again what you guys think about this car. And I'm just super happy in the condition of this thing. It literally looks like a brand new car, guys. Like other than that damage, obviously, with the door situation. I mean, 5,000 miles, 2021. I'm Again, God, I'm blessed. Like, God bless. Without further ado, guys, that is gonna have to conclude this video. My wife's coming home really, really, really soon. I wanna show her this car. Hopefully, tomorrow's video will be diving into it, diagnosing all the issues with it, writing everything down that we need, and uh, start honestly ordering some parts. I think everything we have to order from Toyota, even though it's BMW parts. So, um, I think it's everything's from Toyota. If it is um, from BMW, I guess Toyota will refer me to BMW. But according to online research, I actually have to go to Toyota for all these parts, which is super weird. Like legitimately guys, it's a BMW. Actually, this looks better than a BMW key. I just don't like that. That, I don't like it. Mm -mm. I don't know if you guys know, my first ever car was a Toyota Corolla. And Nora, what are you doing, bro? You're going back to your roots. <laughs> but I think this is the best Toyota that I could possibly get. But without further ado guys, that's gonna have to conclude the video. I'm actually just gonna go inside and just, just count my blessings. I'm just so happy, I'm so fathomed. I cannot believe today we're able to just drive the car into the garage. I, I, I'm, I'm speechless, I'm actually speechless. I mean, I'm probably gonna try to get some moving permits soon on this thing so we can just start driving it. Like, we're, we're at that point already with this car. So without further ado guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble, I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.